So, hello everyone, I hope you're going well. Today I'm going to show you some opening traps because I saw that a lot of people write in the last uh, comment section in, during the last upload that they want to see a lot of opening traps. So I just wanted to show you one opening trap which is pretty important. It's in the French defense. Uh, if I find another trap then I will talk about this. But it's in the advanced variation. It's e5. Then, for example, uh, c5, that is the main line, c3, knight c6, knight f3, queen d6, and now the trap is bishop d3. Probably you already know that. If you don't know this, it's not a problem. If you know this, you can just jump to the next uh, knight, next opening trap. But in this position, we can actually grab a pawn with the black pieces. But there is a small problem. Actually, after queen takes, we have a devastating check. Try to pause the video in, in order to find this. The move is actually bishop b5, and then we will just win the queen. For example, bishop d7 takes, takes, and takes. And we are just up a queen, which is, of course, very good. So that's the first trap. The second trap that I want to show you is on um, on the Kawakan defense. We have actually a small variation, which is called the Fantasy variation. It's in this position we play the move f3, and this is a pretty difficult opening, but there is one important trap that we have to know with the white pieces. It's in this variation d takes e4, f takes e4, and e5. If we take the pawn, the problem is that there is just queen h4 check, which wins. And if g3, then check, and of course, the black is just winning the rook. So what we have to do in this position is to play knight f3, and then the main line is now bishop g4, and now we have a very good move. The move is bishop c4, with the idea that, for example, if you take the pawn, because the knight is pinned, then we can just take on f7 with check, the king has to take back, because otherwise it doesn't make sense, and then check, and we will just pick up this bishop again, which is of course very good. So black has to play, after bishop c4, the move knight d7, with the idea that if we take there, knight, uh, king takes, and knight takes check, there's just knight takes knight, and the bishop is now guarded by the knight, and if we play knight g5 with the same idea, then queen takes g5, and if we take the queen, Black takes our queen, we take back, and we just lost a piece because we have only two pieces and black has three pieces. So that's why this position we cannot take on f7, but we have to castle. And the threat is the same. The threat is the same. If we take on d4, then we take on f7 with check, king takes, and check, double check. And now it's just crushing because we take the bishop back with the knight and we are just up, uh, up actually a position because the king cannot castle anymore. We have more space advantage, we are just better developed, and it's just an easy game right now. Uh, so that's why black has to play the move knight f6. After that, we can actually we can't do that anymore because if check this and check again, knight takes, and now it's defended a billions of times. Uh, so that's why actually it doesn't work anymore. But you know, every opening traps has some limits. I can show you some theory in order that you keep this variation in head. Now we play c3, and what happens if knight takes e4, then actually we can take on f7 again, because now the file is completely open, and knight takes e5, and we are just crushing the whole king side, and the king and the center, and so on. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have some more questions, just go in the comment section. If you're looking for a good chess coach, all the links are, of course, in the description. See you in a future upload. Take care.